The morning is all about celebrations here at Bluff House. So my role is to catch the students as they come across and start their day out in a positive way. Sometimes they're running and they're excited and I know it's gonna be a great day and right. I'm just like, high five. Sometimes I might see a little hesitancy, go up and give them a big hug, give them a big check-in. So right. it's all about just letting their very first encounter on campus be positive. So just a huge initiative to let the community know how much we care about the kids. Well, that's building that sense of community, right? So this is Miss Sosa's station in okay. the morning, and so she's in here creating all sorts of excitement. Talk a little bit about what Miss Sosa's doing inside the building as you make it into the building. She just kind of brightens up our day by just saying like hello, and um, when we are sad, she just she just kind of tells us things that can make us feel better. Oh. I got to be here at the start of the day, and I was outside with your principal telling people hi. It's, completely brightened my day. Yeah. So they're here to brighten your day, but you also brighten our day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So every morning, you're, I see you getting ready for the announcements and helping prep. Tell us about that responsibility and what you're doing there. So um, I go from class to class each week to pick up students to do the pledge. Okay, I bet it's fun with the little bitty pre-Ks and... Yes, and they're then... very adorable. <laughs> they are. Has them ready to go as soon as I run in from the crosswalk. She's like, stand up, here she comes, here she comes, and we're ready to go. Okay, so part of our celebrating the students and showing them how much we care is also showing the faculty how much we care about each other. Right. We write bravos to all the faculty members anytime we catch them going above and beyond. I appreciate the extra time and effort you're putting into building a collaborative, respectful, kind classroom culture. Good job, thank you. Can you tell them a little bit about your morning circle and sure. the purpose behind yeah, it absolutely. and a little bit about the kids? Yeah, so every morning they come in and do their morning routine and then after announcements we all stand in a circle and you know, the power behind the circle is that everybody's seen and everybody can make eye contact with everybody else and every single voice is heard every morning. Um, kids can share anything they want. It can be something as simple as what they had for dinner last night or sometimes it's more things that are a bit more serious. But it's really a nice bonding time because every voice gets to be heard and every kid gets to share whatever's on their heart for the day. I love it. So yep. you kind of get a pulse of how they're feeling mm -hmm. and all their classmates yep. kind of get a sense of of how, how their friend is, is feeling that day. So she virtually has her students online, but in order to show that care and connection with them, she's gone out to every single household that allows them during right. COVID right. and has sat with them to build some connections because obviously we have that virtual right. barrier this year. I spent two afternoons on two consecutive weekends and just made the rounds and got to visit them. And it just was so good for my heart and <laughs> for them. Yeah. Because we got about 20 minutes of uninterrupted time just to chat and they made a little project. And so it was just, it was bucket filling for all of us. Obviously this is not our first choice for learning, but we've learned things about each other that we wouldn't have learned in the classroom. Right. right. I love hearing how people have pivoted and found ways to connect exactly. and right yeah. very ab above and beyond making those connections. Today I'm at Black House Creek and I had a spectacular day really seeing how a sense of community is fostered, nurtured, and created every single day here from the very moment that students walk in the door through starting off their day and sharing in small groups. All right, that's everything for the 13th. Have a great day, Blockhouse Bears.